So I've kind of completed the demo of mixing more opaque paint onto the lay-in, the more transparent paint. And now I'm ready to clean my brushes, clean my palette, and start on a different area. All right, so I just wanted to demonstrate how to clean that more opaque paint out of your brushes and then start on a new part of the painting or at least clean your palette. So whether you're using a glass palette or that palette paper that we talked about earlier, doesn't really matter. The, the most important is you got to clean your brushes and get all that contaminated paint out of your bristles so that you can move on to different colors or different sections of the painting. So usually what I'll do is I'll take the paintbrush and I will take the paper towel and I will pinch the bristles and I'll pull it away. So what that will do is that will remove a lot of that thick paint into the paint uh, into the paper towel. And so I'll do that a couple of several times and then a lot of the paint is out of that uh, those bristles and then I'll reach over into the coil jar and I will uh, brush or apply pressure onto that coil inside there and it doesn't take very long and that um, that paint is now out of the bristles and then I'll just kind of uh, slide that paintbrush down on the side of the coil so it can sit there and soak for a second and then I'll repeat that process with the other brush and I'll remove a lot of that thicker paint out of the bristles before I even stick it into the into the coil jar okay then I'll do the same thing let that uh, gamsol really do its job and clean those paint bristles those paintbrush bristles really nice and clean then I'll slide that down take the other one repeat the process kind of rotating the the uh, paper towel so I'm not just ap applying paint after I clean it apply it so I'll uh, uh, rotate it into some cleaner areas of the paper towel okay so there's that start to brush it against that coil let it um, soak just for a second now <clears throat> I'm using a I'm using a glass palette and so here is that razor blade that it's attached into the paint scraper and I will just scrape that old paint off of there and as you notice my palette is now clean and I'll then take the paper towel and wipe off of that off that paint that was on my razor blade so now that is now clean my palettes clean and now one last little demo about cleaning brushes here is my uh, blending dry blending brush that I just demoed and it's got just on the very tips of the bristles has some paint on it so I'll just barely I don't have to submerge that whole paint brush down into the uh, coil jar what I'll do is I'll just rub it against the very tip of the bristles I'll just rub it against that coil jar and then when when my painting is away from this I'll then brush the tips of the bristles into the paper towel and that will clean the very tips of those bristles now if if you only have one blending brush that's fine you'll just have to do this process more frequently so now that blending brush is now clean and it's ready to go but the only problem is that it has gamsol on it and so you have to dry that and so that's why you would have a hair dryer or something and you'd hit the hair dryer with that and that those bristles will then dry out really quickly and then as soon as it's dry it's ready to go and blend on another painting Okay.